On this video, I will explain to you what the mole is and the many uses of the mole. I will do. I will be using. I will be doing a lot of examples for you to get familiarized with it because in chemistry, you will be using it a lot. So the mole. You can consider the mole as a unit of amount. Like there are this many moles of something. There are three moles of oxygen. There are five moles of of iron or something like that. It basically represents amount. But what's really important about it is that it is a very very good conversion unit. So if you want to go from let's say you have the grams of something and you want to convert it to volume, you're gonna convert grams to volume directly. So you can go through the mole from grams to mole and then from moles to volume. I'll be showing this I'll be showing how to do this with this diagram. So let me raise this part. Okay. So this is the mole conversion diagram. I I don't don't listen to the numbers that like don't 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 look at the numbers yet. Don't worry about that yet. First, I'm going to explain you how the diagram works, and I'm going to make this a little bit simpler. This says gas volume of A at SCP. Let's just say volume. This say number of particles. Let's just say particles. Say particles. This says mass of A. So mass. And uh, this is A, this is mass of B, these are the particles A, particles B, and finally, volume B, this is volume A, and here you have here, moles of A and moles of B. Oh, what I want you to know about this diagram is that, as I said before, if you want to go from volume of something, let's say volume of A, to the mass, so you want to go from here, from, from here volume, to mass. And what you have to do about this diagram is that you have to follow the arrows. So if you want to go from the volume, you have to go through mole A, then through mass of A. You cannot go from volume to, to mass or from volume to particles or from volume of A to volume of B directly. You have to go through the mole. And that is the main importance of this diagram. You have to follow it. You always have to follow it for, for it to be right. Again, you can go from mass of something to to get to volume of something, to particles of something, you always have to go through them all. So let's start with a very basic example. I'm gonna clear all of this. Okay, there you have your diagram. And the problem says you have a sample of elemental gold. So gold is represented by the symbol AU. And they tell you that you have a mass of 15 grams of gold. So your mass is 15 grams. And the problem is just asking you how many moles are there in that elemental gold. So moles is the question. So if you look at your diagram, we have mass of A here and we want mole of A. So it is a basic conversion. You do not have to go through another unit for you to get to the mole. So using the units of measurement method that I explained to you in the previous video, you can look it up. Uh, you're gonna write first the given unit, right? So 15 grams of gold, 15 grams of AU. The parenthesis, line parenthesis. Now this is the given unit too for it to cancel out and you want moles of something so mole that being your desired unit and for example for problems like this you have to to use the molar mass of that element 
I explained the more mass in a previous video too, so if you're not confident about it, I can put the link in the description or the video. So, as I said, the more mass of an element would be, so more mass is represented by big M, simply be its atomic mass. So, gold's atomic mass, as it appears in the periodic table, is 196.9. So you will write here 196.9 grams. And for a given mole, a mole will always be the molar mass of that element. So it will only be one mole. A mole is given by the molar mass of an element. So one mole is equal to the molar mass of that element. That is, this is always true. Except if they give you, like, you have two moles of something written like 2AU, then you will have to write two moles of that. But in this case, that doesn't matter. I'll be doing a practice problem on that too. And now we cancel out grams, go with grams, and we simply, it would be 15 over 196.9. Oh, I get 0 0.076 moles of gold. Don't worry if you get a number like that, that is usually how, how it is. As long as you follow the diagram, you follow the arrows correctly, you will be you'll be fine. That was a very basic problem. For the sake of the of the length of the video, I will be making an, an a different video that's just practice problems of it for you to know how so if you understood it you can just watch it and be done with it if you want more practice problems i'll be putting the link in the description too